Hi guys, in this tutorial we will be discussing about uh, these two methods which are used to solve some complexity problems. So let's start with the first one that is logarithmic method. So there are some rules which are to be followed uh, while you are applying these methods on the complexity problems. So the first rule is ignore as many constants as possible but that is to be done in the beginning so once you apply the logarithm on your function you cannot ignore any other constant variable uh, any other constant so uh, the thing is that uh, you need to ignore all the constants in the beginning only okay and rule 2 is yeah actually I explained you rule 2 itself we cannot ignore any constant once log is applied okay so quite basic rules right so let's go through them one by one let's have an example to solve it with the help of this method so say this is the example where there are two functions first one is 4m cube and the second function gn is uh, what you can say m cube you can easily identify this one I should tell in terms of log and square log n okay now we need to find out which is the function of uh, higher growth rate with the help of this logarithmic method so to solve such a problem since we have here in fn we have this constant if suppose there is another constant n here we ha we could have ignored this also so the thing which is used for applying the logarithm is only this and this so for fn if we take log of fn ignoring all the constants that will be log of n q only okay what will it give it will give 3 log n that's it this is done for log uh, for fn the second function gn we are ignoring this right so we have n square log n only so we have log of n square into log n you can just apply the simple log of a dot b which is log a plus log b so this is log a so log of this and log plus log of this and since this is the power so i will take it out log of 2 log of n plus log of log n so this is this is the term we got so here we are having 3 log n and here we are having 2 log n plus log log n now which one is uh, having uh, the higher amount so we can actually write this 3 log n as 2 log n plus log n right so now we understand that log of n is obviously greater than log of log n okay so this is same this is same so no need to compare but this portion log of n and log of log n so this is higher this is having the higher growth rate than this function so this is why log of fn is having the higher growth rate so what we can write is that growth rate of fn is greater than growth rate of g we got the idea right so anyhow it is visible also so we can write that ok 
okay that uh, for g the upper bound is decided by f so you can use this method on many other complex problems also so okay that's quite that's quite enough for this method you can just apply it anywhere where you can see that no addition uh, suppose uh, how to where to apply this kind of function you understand that you can apply log on mm, multiplications very easily because it will uh, easier the sol ease the solution right? log a plus log b similarly if there was some division which is not very uh, easy to see in these uh, asymptotic notation that's easy still that better if you find somewhere that the multiplication of two functions are there you can just use this logarithmic method to solve such problems okay now let's go to the second method what was that uh, that was l hospitals method actually uh, we already uh, understood in the beginning that these growth rates are basically those tangents uh, making some angles with the x axis right i explained this thing right say this is function f and this is other function say g so which is having the higher uh, okay let it be little this way so we can see that the um, tangent here is let's make it a different so the tangent here is this one okay the tangent is this okay making this angle and the tangent here is this making this angle very small than this okay this is very small this is quite bigger in this uh, in respect to this angle so we can understand that since this is g so we understand since basically this angle is deciding the growth rate so this angle which is the tangent uh, which is, uh, if you if you want to see uh, if you want to find the value of this angle basically you take the tan of this angle say this is theta 1 and this is theta 2 so this is tan of theta theta 1 which actually gives you uh, that's the perpendicular and this is the base for this so this is trigonometry i'm not going to that the idea is that simply this angle decides growth rate of function f right similarly theta 2 will decide the growth rate of g so this is what we need to understand right so these are nothing but the differential or because how you find the uh, growth rate of any function you just differentiate it res with respect to the variable right so here the variable is input size okay so once you have your variable and your function you can just find these growth rates just by differentiating these functions so growth rates are basically df by dn and dg by dn so this will anyhow be indirectly giving you this angle okay because these are this is actually tan of this theta so we are just ignoring the tan part and because this is directly uh, uh, directly proportional so this is why we are just ignoring the tangent part, okay so now you got the idea why we are using this l hospitals method because that's applied on derivatives only uh, where we solve the uh, differential equations okay so the basic rule is that uh, you have your function fn and you have another function g and d you want to compare these two functions so what you since this is asymptotic notation so we are dealing with very large numbers so we have our n which is actually going to be very very large so this is why we apply the limit over this okay so you can put any one any of these functions at the numerator or denominator doesn't matter so once you have this this is a standard form okay and if you apply n if you get infinity by infinity or 0 by 0 once you apply if n equals to infinity is 
substituted if you are getting these values which are actually uh, not defined okay so if you are getting this either infinity by infinity or zero by zero then you can apply this method okay so what else can be understood that quite easy to understand so what you will do is you will just differentiate this with respect to n so uh, you have f dash n and now you have g dash n and if none of the function is constant constant means any uh, any number without n independent of n if you find any function which is now independent of n you can just stop doing this otherwise if you are finding both the numerator and denominator which are dependent on it you again apply the same rule because anyhow these are also the growth rates which we are not capable to handle we are not able to compare so we again differentiate it so this is how you apply the ls plus rule right because you are again getting n and n and this is again an infinity by infinity form so you just apply this rule till you get some coefficient so there may be two cases either you in the end you are getting actually there are three cases either you are getting infinity in the end infinity which is actually meaning that this is somewhere constant or this is zero and this is infinity in such case you know that growth rate i am actually directly writing that f is upper limit okay you assume that these are written in growth rate terms second thing if it's zero so in, so you understand that either it is infinity or this is zero in both the cases we know that growth rate of g is greater than growth rate of f and the third case when it's co some constant in such case both of the functions are actually having the same growth rates these are in terms of growth rate i'm telling you again and again okay this is also for growth rates so this is how you apply your uh, l hospitals so once let's take an example say this is our function fn which is n cube and we have another function gn which is n square log n okay or just for the sake of ease let's just remove it now we have an fn and gn so since we know the idea how to do this n cube by n square so since this is giving infinity by infinity form after applying n equals to infinity we will get this form so we can apply the ls plus rule so what we'll do we just differentiate it so after differentiating we got 3n square and after differentiating this we got 2n since it's again infinity by infinity form if you apply n equals to infinity here we have to again differentiate it so what we'll get is 6n divided by 2n the differentiation will be 2 now this is constant okay so once you apply n equals to infinity here you will get infinity so you know that the numerator is having the bigger value okay so numerator is having the bigger value which means that f is having the bigger value so growth rate of f is growth rate less than greater than growth rate of gn okay so this is why you write that that f is the upper bound for function g okay so this is how you apply your ls plus rule and these are quite uh, handy tools to solve very broad range of problems which you normally see in gate questions okay so this is done for this lecture let's meet in the next one thanks